damage with them. The Even numbers back that four. up. Five extra base hits on the stat Eight. sheet, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Strike one to start the at-bat. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now batting. The center field. Standing in, Kevin yep. Kiermeyer. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one bounds around against the wall. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And he's in safely to third as a run will score on the play as well. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning now, uh, in during right the game. That's his second no. triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great. And he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. First offering on its way. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Castellanos coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in, and it's not in time. He's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Yeah, they've already pushed eight runs across, and it's still early. I'm not sure what the answer is. At this point, you might just consider leaving the pitcher out there. You don't want to waste your bullpen in a game like this. Then again, it's early, so you don't want to throw in the towel either. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. In the score is the runner from first. Make it 9 nothing. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Yeah. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And no one will track it down. Hard hit ball to second. Harrison has it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The left fielder, number 29. At the plate, Tommy Pham. Three runs already Man. home and a potential fourth standing at third base. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. So far this year against Southpaws, Pham is carrying around an absurd batting line, coming in in excess of 500. Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season long. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. Hey, guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously the timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Four runs here in this half inning. Ron, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh 2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Into right field. That's a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now that designated hitter. Daniel. Striding forward now is the DH, Daniel Robertson. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Back up the middle. Scooped up. A ah, flip of his glove for one. Throw to Cabrera for an inning-ending double play. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across.
four runs. Back now for the Tigers' third turn at bat. And unfortunately for them and their fans, this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively. But first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. Leading There's too much swing and miss in our game. The and the catcher. stats do back that up right as they there. currently rank near the bottom of the league Rider. in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Behind 0-2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already. And there's one gone in the inning. Digging in for a about second at bat. One. Josh Harrison. Base, a base hit in his first trip. First pitch hack in here. And that's the first strike. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. He's really on now a roll that, right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts Jaw. to wrap up the last inning. Hit. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Standing in now, John Hicks. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down. Ready for another chance. Willie. Adamas as we begin the top the of the fourth. Really Here's the first Adamas. pitch to him. Takes this the other way to right. Castellanos is there and he makes the catch for the out. The batter. So the coming base. to the plate, G Man, G -Man. Choi. He Four. hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. The 0 and 1 delivery. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Around first, digging for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can. And he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick. And he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Matuk is after it. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Guillermo Redia. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Has a look. Now the pitch. And a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike. 0 and 1. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. First pitch on its way. Line drive to left. Stewart is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left.
On now to the bottom half. The first baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The first baseman. And he lays off a pitch Miguel. in there for the first strike. Cabrera. Good Zero. cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. This is hit high and deep out to left. Bam, going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. The right fielder, number nine. Nick Castellanos Nick. now. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Castellanos, an imposing right-handed figure at six foot four inches tall. He was selected in the first round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1, and, and it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. The 0-2 once more. Fouled away. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Rolando first gets him, and the side is retired. Riding into the box, Leading Matt Duffy. He was a ground out the victim last time up. Five. First pitch Matt. of the at bat on its Duffy. way. Out into right center, well hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. And he'll make it in there safely as he starts out the fifth with a leadoff triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple, but he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Duffy, the runner at third with no outs. Takes this the other way to right. Castellanos is there. Let's see if they try it. And no shot of testing anything there. He'll hold on at third with one gone. Now about it. The catcher. Here now is Mike Zanino. So far, two for three in this one. From the stretch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A two run blast to straight away right field and he is one shy of immortality now 72 on the year as the blowout continues boy talk about when you're hot you're hot gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today when this guy gets hot he's near impossible to stop I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. Into the box now, Daniel Robertson. Daniel. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Castellanos sprinting after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Now at the plate, really? Willie Adamas. Adamas. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93.